I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a technique of writing complex numbers in polar form. In this particular example, the complex number is minus 2 minus square root 3i. Both are negative, so both are negative means we are in quadrant 3. Perfect. So let's get into it. Minus 2 means 2 units to the left, minus square root 3 means square root 3 down. So somewhere kind of like this will be our complex number represented where this is positive real numbers on the polar axis and here we have imaginary numbers. Correct? Let's say this is O. Now when we say that the complex number in polar form which is also modulus argument form modulus is R the magnitude argument is theta the angle most of the time we work in radians now some students work in degrees both is okay right both are fine right so so r is this length and theta is this angle uh, let's take it positive for the time being so that is the situation let us see how to do it general method is normally we say z is uh, x plus i y so r will be using pythagorean theorem x square plus y square square root and theta you can find using tan theta equals to uh, y over x and of course with tan theta you have two options so better thing is first to find acute angle right tan alpha uh, with positive values of y over x and then figure out theta is it okay so that is a strategy to work with okay so let's begin we need to write the complex number which is z equals to minus 2 minus square root 3 i in polar form that is to say as r cos theta plus i r sine theta right since r is common, it's better to write r as a common factor. It's always written like this only. Cos theta plus i sine theta, right? Okay. So let's find r first. r, in this case, x is minus 2. So it's minus 2 square plus minus square root 3 square, square root. And that gives us square root of 4 plus 3 correct uh, 4 plus 3 is 7 so square root of 7 we get that's the value of r always taken positive right i don't have to write modulus and all because square root gives you positive values okay now let's find theta as we have always said it's better to find the related acute angle alpha first so let's find alpha first. So tan alpha is equal to sine over cos. So square root 3 over 2. And that gives you alpha as equal to, well, that is a special triangle, correct? So let me sketch one and then we'll figure it out, the value itself. So we can use calculator also, no problems. Well, sometimes you have values where special triangles are there. Better to use your knowledge. Square root 3 over 2, I'm sorry. That doesn't work. Square root 3 over 2. So let's use calculator. So alpha is tan inverse. Okay, tan inverse uh, square root 3 over 2. Correct. Uh, so we do shift tan inverse within bracket we have square root 3 and uh, then we'll divide this by 2 you could have put slash and say equal to so this seems to be in degrees so we'll just round, round this to 41 degrees okay it says 40.89 so I'm rounding it to 41 degrees let me write approximately so we got alpha as 41 degrees, right? You could change the mode and write answer in radians. Radians is better, but most of my students in grade 11, they haven't learned it yet. 
they continue with degrees. So we know this angle. However, that is the alpha, acute angle. What is theta equals to? If you are in quadrant 3, you can clearly see this is alpha, right? So it is 180 plus alpha. So it is 180 degrees plus alpha. So it is 180 degrees plus 41. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So 221 degrees. Is that okay? So you get 221 degrees as alpha. Now when you know both r and theta, you know r and theta, you can write uh, the complex number in polar form. Square root 7 times cos of 221, you are in quadrant 3, plus i sine 221 degrees. Now, there is alternate way also. You could use negative numbers also, but in this quadrant, it's better to write with positive. If you are in quadrant 4, we prefer to change this to negative. Is it okay? So, that is one way of doing it as an exercise. You can find the angle in radians and repeat the question. I hope that helps. So, you can have a practice question. Let the complex number be minus square root 3. Uh, minus 2i and now write it in the polar form. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Feel free to share and subscribe my videos, write your comments and if you like put some likes. Thank you and all the best.